us what you're doing with Aeronautics. Well, Aeronautics, you know, we we listen to our customers. Uh, I'm an aviator, an AMP. We're looking at the industry as a whole and how how to maintain what we have in the aircraft. We looked at an opportunity for a clock replacement that is full of functions, 12 different functions. You know, it's not just a toy, but it's a, a great replacement that's going to enhance a pilot's capability. The Probeless AOA is a, is a huge factor. We've had so much interest in that and the price at our intro, $799 uh, for the show special, trying to get that out. I think, I think that it's going to be one of those dynamic features within an aircraft that uh, guys are going to look at the options. If you look at the comparable options that we were comparing, with pilot input, $5,100 to get all the features in one unit. And we had the capability, we had the knowledge. So the AV-20, again, our two inch clock replacement and the AV-30 attitude indicator. We're, we're looking for a market space and we're kind of really focusing on, I, I'm also an AMP. So we're looking at the maintenance guys who are actually dealing with the instruments as, you know, a maintenance shop and an opportunity for them to make some money. Then we'll look at avionics world and the shops who we know are maxed out with the ADSB. The maintenance world, in my opinion, we need to get away from some of the mechanical. We've got a lot of failures. You get a rebuild for 500 bucks and you're not getting what you pay for. There's less and less shops every year. So we're really trying to focus on providing really good electronic backup instrument. Right now we're focusing on the AV20 as our first launch product. We built this under the North Sea policy of course, we got uh, with FAA, we're always waiting uh, in the holding pattern per se, but we think in the next probably 40 to 50 days, hopefully, we'll have that letter of approval. We're there and uh, we can start selling this across the board to certified aircraft and experimental. We're ready to go. For somebody looking to update their cockpit, what do they need to know about how to adapt the AV series? So, the AV series, power, ground, pitot, static is your primary. It also takes OAT sensor. The units both have audio feedback and a visual feedback for warning each screen is programmable. It gives a pilot an opportunity for really a low-cost install. Now for the experimental crowd, of course we're at EAA, it's made for them. We're going to provide a pre-wired harness that's labeled, so it makes it very simple to install. How will this be certified? Where will it be able to be used? What kind of operations? So under the North Sea policy, category one, category two aircraft. We're not sure about helicopters at this point, but our board design is set up. We think we can handle the vibration. We're just not there yet. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll start that testing here in the fall on helicopters for the AV-20. The AV-30 board, we're already set up for the board to handle that vibration. In the fall, we'll get back into that testing. So when we get into our certification, one, we got to wait for the North Sea policy letter to come back from the FAA, allow us to get into those certified aircraft. Aero TV is brought to you by. We've spent the past 13 years talking to pilots like yourself, flying many hours, and we're really excited about all that we've brought to our newest design. With the Flex, you have something that folds flat, as you can see it here, but this is very flexible, very light, beautiful sound, and a ton of customization. Progressive Aerodyne's C-Ray Elite offers turbocharged Rotax Power and Garmin G3X Touch Avionics. Incredibly well equipped, you can fly away in this best in category Amphib for less than $170,000. Visit CRA.com for more details.